in this video you will learn what is dual starter its functioning with control circuit as well as power circuit in animation form with electrical drawing and original components so keep watching till end so first start with the component of dual starters if you see the components in the dual starter used are mcb contactor overload protection relay motor a start push button in green color with the no contact one nc contact with the, uh, this stop push button in red color so if we talk about the power circuit of dual starter first we will take three phase left hand side you can see circuit diagram and right hand side is a component so first take with three phase and circuit breaker and then and no push button and parallelly and no contact of the contactor and left right side you can say main contactor and then overload relay or last we will add a motor so left hand side is this shows a circuit diagram and right hand side shows component wise original connections for the dual starters it is a power circuit so now we will talk about the control circuit of the dual starter so first we will connect with the phase overload and no con nc contact and then it's stop nc contact and after that start and no contact and parallelly contactor and no contact and last we will connect contactor with the neutral so left hand side shows a electrical control circuit for dual starter and right hand side we can see component wise connection so we will take phase first and we will connect it to the overload nc and last we will connect it through the nc contact of stop push button and then you can match a right hand side and left hand side with the similar manner and then and no contact start push button and after that it will go to directly to the main contactor and this parallel connection of no contact for the contactor will green color you can see it will connect no contact through the push button start push button and this diagram shows how we can originally connect the components and components as per circuit diagrams so next you will see full animation for this circuit diagram so let us start we will take all the components in a similar way but within a systematic way so we connect overload relay stop push button nc contact start push button and no contact and contactor auxiliary contact and no contact and then contactor and it all system will connect it to the 220 volt or 24 volt dc it as per applications so next we'll see how it works when we give phase to the this system first it will come to the overload relay and then it will go to off push button and then no off and no push button for the on but supply will remain here it will not pass to the contactor because and no contact will not pass the current uh, supply to this when we push uh, no push button the supply will pass directly through no to the contactor and contactor will actuate and you can see the, when the contactor will actuate the power supply will come through this no contact when we remove this push button you can see it will directly go to the power contactor with the no contact and contactor will permanently on when we push stop button the contact will break and the contactor will also de-energize at that time and stop is all functioning so this system shows how it will work when we start and we off so now last we'll dis uh, discuss about what are the advantages of dual starter it's high starting torque economically it's more economical circuit is very simple and its fault finding is very easy and less space required for this so last uh, disadvantage of dual starter it's high starting current it will take high starting currents it's a big voltage drop in the system and when we will install it it increase the mechanical stress on the motors as well as mechanically parts it is not feasible for high rating more than 10 kilowatt generally we will not take it more than 5 kilowatts comment like subscribe and press bell icon for latest videos. Thank you.